All right, we're pre-live, call this pre-live. I'm trying to get a multi-chat streaming system going. So the show will start briefly, shortly here. And YouTube is not doing it yet. Hmm. Nope. Not working. Okay, well that was fun. Let me change everything back. Bummer. Hey all, we're gonna get ready soon here. Sorry about this. We're trying a new uh, chat protocol and it, it's not working the way I wanted it to. So give me a moment here doing some live stuff. Sorry about that. Great. All right, we'll let everybody slide in here. Hey, somebody passed their extra 49 out of 50, Jake. Good job, buddy. Good job. Um, as we roll through all the chats, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to link up the chat room. In fact, I'll just do that now. We'll just go right there. See, this is what the new chat's gonna kind of look like, um, and it'll link all the things together. But we're not there yet, so don't worry about it. We'll we'll sort that out right now. Okay. Bloop. Excellent. I'm just going to show you everything. You're seeing all the secret stuff that I'm going to be talking about right now. Don't uh, don't get surprised or pretend like you you're you're surprised when you see this later, okay? Because it's all going to be new. <laughs> I've got two minutes to get this all sorted out, right? Yeah, everybody, look away. Shh, it's all secret. It's all secret. Okay. Now let's pretend like we're starting over. Oh, see, there's no chat. Where's the chat? Come back, buddy. There it is. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to start recording now. And we'll just start it one minute early. Oh, let's see. Oh, we got some people in Hamcation. Hello from Hamcation. Rob Ferguson at Hamcation. Tony. Uh, Juan. Yeah, Juan would talk to me earlier. Yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Thanks for letting me do that little uh, fun playing around in the beginning. We'll get that all edited out uh, in the future here. I'm trying a new chat room thing. It didn't work out perfectly, but we'll get there. So uh, links are in the description. If things go wonky again, just go ahead and take the link to Twitch, and we'll be able to watch everything from Twitch. That way, um, and, and you can chat over there. Pop out the chat window when you're on the YouTube side, and that way you'll be able to chat. But anyway, let's jump right into it. How's it going, everybody? Uh-oh, uh I'm going. There we go. Am I going robot -y? I am going robotty. Something's going on. Is that better? No. I'm going robotty. Tomo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Is there already a delay? <laughs> Are you getting a delay on the... Uh... Yeah, it's probably me this time. Not YouTube? Okay. <clears throat> That's what I get for trying to be all snazzy and try to do something different and new. Whoa! How's that? That's better. 
So fast. It's so fast. Oh, and I killed the camera setting, so that's good. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll call this. There we go. We'll start again. Uh, no, guess we're not starting again. I tried to do too many things in, in one sh uh, sitting, and now everything is screwed up. I spent like all day just tooling around with stuff. Excellent. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Still lagging? Hello from New Jersey. I need to bake the GPU again? Maybe. Maybe. Is it still laggy? Think it's a bit better? No. <laughs> and this is what I do, the head bob, because I can see myself. <clears throat> I usually can tell if Zach tells me he's got problems. That's He's kind of my canary. Clap one more time. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to open this beer. <laughs> oh, it takes a second. Okay. Well, we know what that means. Big audio delay. Okay. Hold on. Be right Hey, Dana. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. How's that? Is that better? Hey, we got Carrie in the house. Excellent. Now clap. Nope. Is it off on both the Twitch side? Oh, I can see it's off. Okay, I'm going to do a restart. Not a restart of uh, the stream. It'll be one second. I tried to do a short version. It didn't work. So, sorry. We'll get... Okay. Hopefully this is all... Coming back in here. What does the restream side say? Restream seems happy. Franklin Lewis, thank you. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for... Okay, we're going to do clap. One, two, three, four, five. No audio. No audio? Audio. Yeah, there's the audio. Is it synced up, though? Let's see what YouTube says. It still says bad, so... My light's stuck on back behind me. Look. Look at the light behind me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> Hopefully it all sorts itself out. We'll see. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Sorry for the bumpy start there. <laughs> we got a lot to cover. Um, it says I'm about 15 FPS. 
Yeah, the sinking is still bad. So hopefully it sorts itself out. I'm going to let it go for a little bit, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, today we have a very busy show with uh, lots of technical involvement. So this is already a bad sign that we're having so many problems. But we'll push through and see how far it goes. So today we're talking about the uh, Pi Star running the Zoom Spot, or the Zoom Spot running the Pi Star software. And we're going to walk through a scratch installation. I've already pre-flashed the card. Um, so don't worry about that, but basically let's walk through some news like we normally do. Um, we've got two giveaways, actually three giveaways, two signal sticks and a QRP, quirky QRP. That thing is bugging me in the background. <laughs> uh. How am I doing now? Is it better? I may have to do a full restart. Oh, it's going to sync. It should sync. Yep. Okay, good. Stream's good on the YouTube side. Refresh your screens, everybody. I'm going to start all over again. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the third time. Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Thanks for sticking through this with me. We're trying to move forward with radio. I'm trying to move forward with my technology. Um, so hopefully we'll get this sorted out. Boy, what a, what a crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. Mainly spent trying to increase my technologies. Um, on the stream side and I just bit off more than I could chew so I think I'm going to dump a bunch of my money into buying a stream computer after we're over so hopefully this will all get sorted out soon thank you so much um, I do have uh, as always we're moving forward with ham radio today we're talking about the zoom spot the pi star software we're going to be programming that from scratch and the homework is, you know, do you have a hotspot or some other way to get to DMR, talk, our DMR talk group or our Yesu uh, system fusion room? If you do, it might be a good idea to do that now. So make sure you join our DMR talk group or our Yesu system fusion chat because we will be using that here in just a little bit of time. Um, couple of news items. Patreon newsletter is going out this weekend. I had a big delay. I had I was without internet for part of the week, so I had all kinds of other stuff that I had to do. Uh, been crazy. Been very crazy. The Gentleman Scofflaw podcast was posted, so my interview is up on their most recent episode. Check that out. And W5KUB.com, I will be running the show next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Central, I believe it is. So make sure you check that out, W5KUB.com. The talk group for DMR is 31621, 31621, okay? I don't think I can, do I have that information here? Hmm, I do not. Sub-Zero just got a signal stick. Well, that's interesting you say that because I'm gonna do something right now. Why don't I just do this? Uh, for those of you that are on the uh, YouTube side, hi, who can win this? I just posted a coupon for a free signal stick with free shipping. Whoever can get that first, you win. That's the first giveaway right there. So thank you for sticking through all the uh, mess. Um, thank you for sticking through all the mess. And oh, something is frozen. The chat room's stuck. Why is the chat room stuck? Okay, hopefully that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully whoever got that coupon just got a free signal stick and I will give another one away at the end and I will also be giving away a quirky QRP keychain. So hang on for that. That should be a lot of fun. All right, so programming your Zoom spot is straightforward, but there is a regimented series of steps that I recommend as a best practice. The first thing you do, and by the way, we will be using... We are using, let me get this out of the way for a second. We will be using my ZoomSpot RPI. And if you bought this from HRO, the 
SD card you get is preloaded. You just need to use that and you can start from a little bit further on. But if you have an issue, um, you will likely need to reflash or maybe you just want to start fresh and, and go through that process. And so I'm going to I'm going to work through that with you a little bit here. So what you do, what I do is I use something uh, called Belina Flasher and there is it. Yeah, Belena or Belena Belina Flasher. It's for Mac, but there are multiple flashing pieces of software you can use. Here it is on the screen here. And basically, you are just going to download the image off of the PyStar website, um, install it, uh, load it, and then select a drive and then flash it. it. Takes about 10 minutes total with the verification steps that need to go through. So very straightforward. Um, I'm not going to do that in the process because I've already done it. So. Going back to my Pi Star here, uh, I'm gonna start this per this guy up. It's on a fresh flash. I'm gonna try to start it. Yeah, the light came on. So there's your light right there. And we're gonna let this start. So basically what happens is on a fresh load for the Pi Star, the SD card is going to have no configuration, and that includes no Wi-Fi configuration. Without a Wi-Fi configuration, it's going to create its own Wi-Fi node that you will need to connect to, and it's going to be called PyStar Setup or PyStar Configuration. You will click on that, and then you will go to the website, http forward slash local.pystar or pystar.local. I'll show you in a second. I'm just run in time until we can uh, until we can get a little bit closer. Let me see if that hotspot it is not open yet. So it takes about uh, it takes a minute or so for the Pi Star to come up and really it's the uh, Raspberry Pi for it to come up and create the Wi-Fi node. And then you will join that node and then that's what you're going to use to set it up the rest of the way. Now I have a very specific process for how I do this. I do the Wi-Fi first and then I restart the the Raspberry Pi. I do it that way. It seems to be the least amount of issues when I do it that way. So that's my preferred way to go. And I'm still waiting for it to start up. The Wi-Fi is not open. So let's switch over to the wide desk. While um, I'm waiting, I will show off something that I bought. Oh, man, we've got a major lag. I got a Sony SW100S shortwave radio. Uh, man, these are hard to come by. This one doesn't work. I'm going to have to fix it, but i um, very excited about that. All right. Let's see if that uh, Wi-Fi node is open. It's still not. Okay. I'm just going to leave this open now. Let me check the chat while this is going on. Ah, there it is. Pi Star Setup. Okay. So I'm joining the, um, the Wi-Fi. Uh, you'll do this on your own, join the Wi-Fi. And once it's connected, you will go to another screen. I'll show you. Someone is asking in the chat, no D-Star? No D-Star currently. Um, D-Star functions a little bit different than Yesu System Fusion and DMR. So we're, we're primarily working through the ones that are easiest to start with. And then maybe we'll think about D-Star. So um, oops, there's no chat here. There's the chat. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a lot of editing in front of me when I have to edit this down for the short video. But I'm very glad I have these short videos now because I can just edit all this stuff out and then it's gonna look pretty okay. <laughs> and let's go ahead and mute that guy. There it is, took it a second. Okay, for those of you that don't want to go through this Wi-Fi process, I highly recommend the PyStar Wi-Fi website. It is pystar.uk Wi-Fi Builder.php. And that will allow you to enter an SID and or an SSID and then your password. And you can drop that file into the boot image of the PyStar right on the SD card and start it up for the first time. Oftentimes that will work. I've had less success with that, but hey, your miles will vary. So first time, um, 
I'm being, uh, this is the website right now for the Pi Star. It's asking me for a password. You can't see that. The password is Pi dash star. And the password is raspberry on a default load. Should be loading up right now. Okay. So, well, that's fun. Where did that uh, SSTV thing come from? Bye-bye. So this is the bare, no configuration, Pi Star digital voice configuration screen. All these are standard, the frequencies, the little green thing that you see. I'm going to scroll to the bottom here down to the Wi-Fi configuration, and I'm going to click Configure Wi-Fi. See, it's empty. There's no Wi-Fi adapters identified. I'm going to click Scan for Networks. It takes about 10 seconds, and then it'll show you. Yeah, I'm curious who got the signal stick. Post in the chat or post on the Discord if you got the signal stick. Okay, so we've got a Hoshnasi, a Frontier, and then a Barsimo. So I'm going to click on... Hoshnasi. Does this, uh, good. It doesn't show my password. I will change this after night just in case. So I'm going to type in the, the PSK, the password for the Wi-Fi, and I'm going to click save and connect. And then I'm going to just stop for a second. I'm going to take a couple of breaths. I'm just going to go. Now, what I like to do at this point, there are other ways to do this, but I like to scroll up to the power control, the power option here at the top right under dashboard, admin, export, or expert, and then power. Click power, and then reboot. So I'm going to reboot it. I'm going to let it reboot. I'm not going to touch anything. We're just going to wait. We're going to wait until this screen goes away and the Pi Star comes back online on the Hoshnasi Wi-Fi SSID. That's the goal. Chris got it. Chris got it. Ham radio crash course. I got the signal stick. Congratulations. Yeah. So you got to be fast on that one. I've got, um, I actually have a few um, signal sticks. Oh, what's going on? And I'm back. Hopefully I'm back. Refresh. Nope, it's down again. Man, what a pain in the butt. Charlotte, get out. Now the dog's in here, too. God, it's out of control. Uh, yeah, but it's going to drop out again. What a nightmare. Out. Go. Out. Charlotte, come on. Come on. Out. Oh, it's not going to get better. All right, I have to restart again. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Woof. Should be back. Refresh again. Sorry about that. What a pain. Looks good. Give it a second. Okay. Let's sally forth here. So believe it or not, <laughs> through all that, the Wi-Fi came up on the Zoom spot. So it's connected to my Wi-Fi router here, um, the Hoshnasi Wi-Fi router, which is exactly what we wanted it to be. So... What I do at that point is I fill out the general config uh, space. So I'm going to type in my call sign, KI6NAZ. Oh, let's do that again, 6NAZ. I'm going to change the frequency to 
075. That's just the one I use. You don't have to. Uh, I believe I'm in 38 and I'm in 1118.06 is my lat long. Locator is Cerritos DM03. Country is United States. And my modem type is a Zoom. Oh, you can't see this, but you need to select your modem type. Mine is a Zoom Spot Raspberry Pi hat. Mr. Hat. And then I am in the Americas in Los Angeles. So I will select that. Okay. And I set it to English US. So fill out that whole general thing and click apply changes. Believe it or not, we should get through this pretty quickly. Um, so, okay, good. Twitch is good. So hopefully we'll finish this up and then we'll have a, a nice little giveaway. And I may start the call-ins early and we'll we'll get it all sorted out. Okay, so it's it's taken the settings. Once you get the Wi-Fi going, it's, it's very straightforward. So hopefully this is not going to crap out on us. Um, there we go. It's restarting. We should get a whole... Clint Bradford is in the house. Clint Bradford, is that my uh, satellite buddy? Hey, there he is. Hey, right on. Clint's here. Very cool. Okay, we're waiting for this to restart, right, before we, we trudge on. And really, the, the piece of advice I have here is, is take your time. Take your time with this. Let it do what it needs to do. It will generally sort itself out. And if it doesn't, just reflash it. Just just reflash start all over. And then I'll show you, you're going to save the image off. And then you will be good. Once you have a good image for what you like, you can just save that and reload it and save it and reload it. It's very easy. So now um, we have a new set of options. We have DMR mode, Yesu System Fusion mode. So I'm going to check the box for DMR mode, Yesu System Fusion mode. And I do have the PRI or the RPI. So I'm going to click display type OLED, which is at the bottom of the MMDVM host. And I'm going to make sure that it is G4KLX and I'm going to apply the changes. That's all I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to go um, Yesu System Fusion and DMR. And we're going to hit apply again and hope for the best. Again, just, just let it keep going. And thank you all for sticking through this with me as we're dealing with the hardware problems. I have decided I'm buying a new computer after this. <laughs> well, I'm going to do the uh, live stream and then I'm going to buy a new computer. So let's switch over really fast so I can show you what's going on over here. So here's the PRI. It's flipping out. Or the RPI. I keep saying PRI. So you've got DMR and then Yesu System Fusion. And it's going back and forth. And then the screen has totally gone crazy, right? It's just a bunch of snow. So what I'm going to do, whoop, what I'm going to do now is to get that screen sorted out, you go to expert, we go to MMDVM host. Oh, you can't see this. Why can't you see this? Let me go back. So I'm going to click on uh, expert and then MMDM host, and I'm going to search for LED. Come on. First one is display OLED. The second one is the LED section of settings. And I'm going to change the type from three to six. And I'm going to apply changes. And hopefully this should sort itself out. And there it goes. So MM DVM. Right now there's people talking on Fusion. I don't have a radio on and it defaults to America Link. So we want to change that. So I'm going to show you the screen here. I'm going to go back to configuration. I'm going to scroll down to Yesu System Fusion. Actually, while uh, I need to do an update before then. So go back to the top, click the update button. So now we have the screen working, we have the Wi-Fi working, we have DMR and Yesu System Fusion on, and we're going to do an update. And the update will allow us to 
load all the new reflectors and any update to the image there is, any software updates will get pulled in at this point. I'm reading the chat. <laughs> so uh, I, it's it's not that you have to reset the Pi Star after every change. I just do it because I've had lots of problems in the past. And so this is the, the way I do it to be very consistent and have uh, nice, fun, simple times. No, this will not do a firmware update. Um, it is just a update to get the most up-to-date reflectors right now. That's why I'm doing it. Because I want to load the HRCC reflector. So how you do that is you do an update and it'll get you the reflector. At the very bottom there, it says finished. So I'm going to click on configuration. Okay. So now when I go down to the Yesu System Fusion uh, startup host, which is right there in orange, uh, I'm going to go up to, and you can't see this, but you'll see it when I select it. I'll read it out for you. We are in US. The uh, YSF 01037 US HRCC link, HRCC link. I'm going to change the APRS to SoCal APRS2.net. This is something you can do, but you don't have to use my APRS. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to input my DMR ID, which is 110-7758. Okay, and I'm going to change my uh, Brandmeister over to United States 3101. So I've done a whole bunch of changes right now. Um, at this point, you can do a lot of changes. Then I'm going to hit apply. So we're going to let it load right now. And it's going to go through its process. Again, let it do its thing. We don't need to mess around with anything. And we know that it's working because it's restarting right now. It says close. And then hopefully if it all comes back up and it shows the MMDM. So there you go. MMDVM again. It's in startup. And the Chrome uh, browser is restarting. It's loading right now. OK. So now we have a fully functioning uh, PyStar, ZoomSpot PyStar, ZoomSpot running PyStar. So it, it's working on Yesu System Fusion on the HRCC link, and we will test that right now. And it's also working on DMR. So let's do the Yesu System Fusion first. Let me go back to my wide desk shot here. KI6NAZ, KI6NAZ to the Yesu System Fusion HRCC room. Uh, anyone there to copy? KI6VRL. Cool. Okay, thank you for coming back to me. So, are you guys running Zoom spots or hotspots as well? What are you running? And what radio? version is just the MVDVM modem and I'm going into it with a Yezu 991 lowest power I can get. Very cool. Was there another station there? Go ahead. What antennas on my yeah, radio? VRL. Um, I'll tell you yeah, right now FD2. Oh. Lost you. VRL, I lost you, bud. This antenna is a signal stuff signal stick. It's the antenna we're giving away. The one we already gave away. We're giving away another one, too. No, nope. I lost you. I don't know if that was me or you. Why don't you come back and try again? Okay, it was uh, 
Hector KE6 of ERL. Um, yeah, we're in the PISAR on a uh, FT2. Do I have K9KAO in the chat? Eagle, oh man, we're getting. Uh, Warning DMO to use your system for use on a jumbo spot. Oh, so that was Loyal. He's running uh, DMR to Yasu System Fusion, which is a conversion you can do um, through his DMR radio. So he's talking on Yasu System Fusion, which you can do too with a Zoom spot. Wow, that's a lot of lag. I don't know why that video is so much lag. That's kind of funny. My own video is all screwed up. So, okay. So we got that. Now let's go. I'm going to turn this off. Let's try DMR. Okay, zoom uh, to the HRCC is the talk group I have loaded, so I'm going to key that up. And the there you go. So now I'll just say, hey, KI6NAZ, KI6NAZ, doing a check on the DMR ham radio crash course talk group. Is there anybody there to copy? Okay, woo. Eagle. Eagle One Radio God's cracking me up. Henry K9, uh, K9KAO actually helped me with some plumbing on my house. Justin, uh,. Eagle One Radio God is uh, apparently local to me, so he's familiar oh, with he's familiar with some of the folks, the uh, characters that we have around us here. So this is my Redivus uh, RT82. <laughs> Eagle on the radio is cracking me up. Um, okay, so there's the DMR. So pretty straightforward. I think I double talk because I'm on so K and four KBC. And there's loyal to wrap it out. And it says Zach. You see that? Pretty good. Man, that's that video is all screwed. That's so behind. Okay, so so that's pretty much it. We just did the whole thing. Now we can we can flip this around a little bit. So let's let's flip this around. Boop boop boop. So let's turn off uh, Yesu System Fusion mode. And let's turn on uh, DMR to Yesu System Fusion. So let's go ahead and apply. So we're restarting right now. Juan Carlos, thank you, buddy. I oh, appreciate having a QSO with you earlier, too. That meant that was awesome. Juan, that light, man, is all kinds of busted. You you turn, you broke the light. It's stuck on on now. Okay, we're re restarting, restarting, restarting. We're just going to let it go. In fact, I'm going to, I might pull it over when we do call-ins. What time is it? Got a couple of minutes before we do the giveaway. Uh, okay, so now we're going to see something down here. We're going to go from DMR Master. Where is it? Use prefix. We might not be able to go into the reflector now that I'm doing this live. I'm thinking about like, well, that's not going to work. That might not work. We need to make it DMR to Yesu System Fusion. Uh, in fact, I think I did this wrong. I know I can go from D. Uh, it's easier to go from Yesu to to DMR, at least for me. I've already worked that out. I might be shooting myself in the foot. We'll see how it goes. We're restarting again. Let's see how we do. It's really not restarting, um, to be clear. It's not really restarting the zoom sp or the 
the Raspberry Pi. It's restarting the Pi Star software. Okay. We might not have been able to do it, but one. For reference too, uh, if you go to dashboard, I should have showed this earlier. Top link dashboard. Oh, I'm still on the talk group. Ki six naz. I'm still over on the three one six two one talk group, right? Just have two radios, right? <laughs> nope, you're going over the aviation fusion. Okay, good. <sighs> Great. Um, so the thing that throws me off often when I do this is it still shows my HRCC um, talk group programming. So the code plugs remains the same on your radio, obviously. But when you talk into it, the uh, zoom spot is converting it over from DMR to YAC System Fusion. So again, let's try this again. So KI6NAZ to the Ham Radio Crash Course Yesu System Fusion chat room. Who's there available? I already heard Zach. Anybody else there? Four yeah. RLE. Ooh. Uh, RLE, you've got a 74 or 77% loss there. Something's going on. VRL just keyed up, but didn't say anything. Yeah, I, I doubled with uh, the other station. Zach, always there, getting my back, says... Uh, set the gateway on. Set your DMR setting to DMR gateway. Eh, I could do that. But Yesu System Fusion works fine, too. Anyway, so I had it uh, DMR to AC System Fusion. Zach says set it to DMR Gateway. Your choice on which way to go. Both work fine. Or he might be more right. We'll see. Okay. No, it didn't take it. Let's try that again. Come on, buddy. All right. We got a couple minutes before the contest. Thank you everybody for sticking around. This is going to be a signal stick and a quirky QRP. In fact, let's get let's get this checked out real fast. We good? We good? We good? We're good. Let's go back. Uh-oh. I might have just screwed the pooch. See, this is why you got to let it wait. <laughs> okay. No, I, don't, <laughs> I just click factory reset. <laughs> I think I just... <laughs> I was so... See, that's the problem. I'm trying to click so fast that I just factory reset the zoom spot. I legit did factory reset the zoom spot, but the interface is still there, so excellent. <laughs> so that's how easy it is to set up the zoom spot, guys. That was fantastic. Um, so we did uh, DMR, Yesu System Fusion, and then we went DMR to Yesu System Fusion, and then I just factory reset it because the factory reset link is the same thing as the configuration link on the GUI. And if you're going too fast like I am trying to run a TV show or a TV show stream, then uh, that can happen. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over here. Oh, that's gone. That's fun. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take some calls. Why don't, uh, or not calls, uh, go ahead and do some questions uh, if you have them before the giveaway, which is in four minutes and 25 seconds. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect multiple different streaming oh. chat rooms into one.
of course, none of this was set up beforehand because that would have meant I had time to do it. So I'm catching up on the fly here. I'm literally killing my computer to do that. Ah, what was the Sony I showed earlier? The Sony. So um, this is a Sony ICF SW100 shortwave AM FM receiver. They stopped producing these in the year 2000. It is considered uh, kind of a unicorn radio with a lot of people. It is an extremely capable receiver. What is the banging that's going on? There's some kind of banging outside my room, so that's great. So this is the ICF SW100. It's basically a shortwave radio receiver, but uh, my current carry radio is the C-Crane Skywave SSB which um, let's let's compare the two. The Sony fits on top of, and the side profile is minuscule. And this is a late 2000s radio. It feels very Sony. There's all kinds of weird quirky features in this, but it feels like I'm gonna literally destroy it just by handling this thing. So, yeah. Okay, hey, Skype, why are you not loading? Okay, well, let me go back to one minute and 23 seconds for the winner here. So let's keep an eye out. 106 people for the quirky QRP keychain portable radio this is an rt88 somebody asked what uh, dmr radio is that this is a redivis rt80 82 sorry 82 22 seconds for the winner here. Quirky QRP mini portable keychain CW transmitter. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Wait, why didn't it? That was weird. Oh, I know why, because it just uh, moved everything over. So, Baofeng UV uh, 5R V2 Plus 1. Let's slide that over here. I don't, I don't know why Skype's not working. New call. New call. I can't get Skype to work right now. I like that the uh, Baofeng UV5R V2 Plus is the one that won that. So that's terrific, whoever that was. Is that Squirtle? Did Squirtle win that? Is that seriously Squirtle? Nice. Nicely played. And I can't get Skype to work, so this is uh, wonderful. So I can't even do call-ins. <laughs> a radio won a radio. That is true.
Uh, the model of the sky wave is the C crane CC sky wave single sideband. And that's what it's called sky wave single sideband. Um, I might be able to, but Skype makes it so much easier. Why you no know work, Skype? One minute, 43 seconds for the signal stuff giveaway. And then we'll be wrapping this up and we're going to head over to Discord for the after chat. And I'm going to buy myself a streaming computer. <laughs> uh, okay. Some, um, NS Tech asks, what do you think about the FT65R? I only have a Baofeng now and looking to upgrade. Um, I, I would say upgrade to something more like a FT70 or something along those lines than just a slight upgrade. Like save up some money. If the Baofeng's working for you, then save some money and then upgrade to something more substantial. It's generally my recommendation. Wow. My computer is absolutely knackered right now. The Anytone AT878, Nate asks, UV. Um... I don't know about that one specifically. Okay, 12 seconds. Here we go for the signal stick winner. Anthony. Anthony won the signal stick. So, Anthony, I will send you a uh, link for you to, or for a, a text string that you can go apply for a coupon to get your own signal stick. And I am going to go buy me a new um, <laughs> a new stream computer because this is a nightmare. <laughs> I can't do this any longer. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and call it because I've had far <laughs> too much technical problems for one night. Um, we'll edit this down. I'll leave this unedited so everybody can experience the fun of whatever comes out of this because this is going to be crazy. Um, but I'm going to cut this all together and just for the, uh, the Zoom spot how-to. And <laughs> we'll go with that. Okay, guys, it's been a pleasure, but uh, I swear I got to get off of this thing. I'll go talk to you on Discord. Hop over on Discord. It's going to be fun over there because we can commiserate in my pain. Or everybody's going to make fun of me, which is often also what happens. And that's fun, too, for, for lots of people. <laughs> so thanks so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you're still sticking around here. But I imagine if you're watching this, you're probably already a subscriber. So thank you. And a reminder, hopefully that newsletter is going to go out this weekend. But I might be buying a stream computer. So <laughs> take it easy, guys. See ya.